Hello there and welcome to Linux S2 and in this video guide I'm gonna show you how to install the latest addition of Go programming language on Linux. So it doesn't matter which distribution you are using, just follow along and you will be able to install the Go programming language in your distribution. So first of all you wanna head on to your web browser and search for a Go language. This will take you to this golanguage.org website. Simply click on it and this should open up the official website. From here you can simply click on the download button and uh, this will show you the downloadable packages available. So for different operating systems there are different links for Linux you have to click on uh, this tar file simply click on it and uh, this should start to download the file. It's around 100 megabytes so wait for some time. So after downloading the file simply extract it. I'm going to use the graphical user interface but you are free to use the terminal emulator. So I'm going to extract it here. So here's the file and this is the folder that contains all the required files for the language to work properly. So what we have to do, we have to transfer this file in a particular place and set the variable, the environment variable so that the system can know that Go is there. So you can simply leave it over here or you can transfer this folder to particular folders. For example, if I press Ctrl H, I can easily locate the local folder. Here is the local folder. I can simply go into the folder and paste the file in here, the folder. And if I want to install it globally, I can simply copy it from here, go to the root directory and from the root directory, I can go to users, local and then win folder. And I can paste it over here and then set the environment variable. It depends on you where you want to do that. So after getting the folder, I have to set the environment variable and that environment variable you set in the VAS RC file. So this you can find here. This is the file. Here you have to simply paste the bin path of the Go folder. So simply copy and paste the line. If you do not have such line, simply write yourself. And from here you have to specify the path of the Go folder. So if I go to the locals folder, bin folder and here is the folder path and this is the bin folder so simply right click go to properties and copy the whole path from here and then go to the file and simply replace the path over here just like this so you want to make sure it's bin folder so inside the go folder there is bin folder as well so if I show you, so this is the go folder and inside the go folder there is bin folder and there we have the go binary file. So we want to make sure the path is absolute. Here I have set the path. So this will only enable a go language for the current user. If you want to set the go language for the entire system, that means all the users will be able to access it. Then what do you want to do? You want to go to the again root directory. And inside the root directory you have the edc folder and inside the edc folder you will find a file that is environment so here's the file that is environment so you require root privilege in order to edit the file so here simply add a colon and add the path so the path was like this right so you want to do that over here so that the go language can be available system wide so i'm just gonna install for my current user that's why i'm not gonna add it over here so after adding the path in the bash rc file, simply save the file and open up a terminal. If you already have a terminal open, simply source the file or simply close it and open it again. Now if you hit the go version command, you should see the go version that is installed in the system. So this is the latest 1.15.5 for Linux. Now you can simply execute your go program. So I'm just going to go to the website again. I'm going to hit back and uh, again back. And I'm going to copy this program from here and I'm going to open up a file over here. And this is uh, hello and then dot go. I'm going to paste the program, save the program, exit from the editor. Then I'm going to run this file. To run the file, simply type go run and the file name. Hit enter and it should print hello world. 
so this way you can set the go language the latest edition of go language in any linux distribution so it doesn't matter which one you are using apart from that go is also available through a snap so if you have a snap support in your distribution then you can simply execute the installation command for a snap and a snap will get installed in the system but if you do not have a snap support then you can always go down and choose your distribution and simply click on these links and set up the snap in your system and then execute the command to install the snap version of a go language in your distribution this is pretty straightforward as you just have to execute the one command and go will get set up properly in your distribution so that was the guide on how to install and set up a go language I hope you find this guide helpful if you did then hit the like subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and I shall catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying Linux